Longinotti Meccanica SRL is proud to present the first plant in the world able to produce nature stone tiles for outdoor flooring by our automatic line. Nature stone is a product of irregular shape and surface with a nice looking aspect which looks similar to natural stone and is suitable for use in gardens, parks and any type of outdoor area. After its first presentation at the Verona Marble Fair in 2003, the single layer product Nature Stone with its high resistance, quality and low porousness speedily gained the attention of the world market. The plant you will see now has been installed at the factory of Messrs. Ott Betonwerk in Weissenturm, Germany, which is already a well-known company for the good quality of their products and with this new product makes strong competition to similar products already available on the European market. In fact, the Nature Stone tile is industrially produced by an automatic plant with a hydraulic press working with high pressure. Such high pressure makes the product much more compact, aesthetically pleasing, with a very high resistance. And above all, Nature Stone has a much lower production cost compared to other products manufactured by other technologies already on the market. The necessity of a small space in the production hall and the use of a small labour force are further great advantages of this new product. The production of Nature Stone tiles is promoted at the moment in size 40 by 40, 20 by 40 and 20 by 20 which may be combined together and produced in different colour shades automatically adjusted. The plant you will see is composed of two silos for the storing of white and grey cement, an automatic batching plant with four hoppers for the aggregates needed for the preparation of the humid mixture, an automatized planetary mixer, a four station rotating press at 350 tons working pressure, a combined automatic line for removing the fresh tiles from the press, turning them over and storing them on the steel pallets used for tile handling, Pallet storing area for naturally curing the products. A storing path and moving line to transfer the products to the vertical packing line. This new automatic production line is performed by computerized machines controlled by electronic Siemens PLC system, which allows full correspondence to all production requirements. The batching plant by weight is made of a group of four hoppers for the different granulates, including powder, and of two silos for the white and grey cement which can be used according to the programmed formula. The two cement silos, provided with stairs, platform and dust filtering system, are equipped with extracting and conveying worm screws to the weighing machine, which is placed directly over the planetary mixer. The group of four hoppers for the aggregate storing is composed of two hoppers for marble chips and two hoppers for powder which are completely closed to improve the powder extraction and dosing. The aggregates are first weighed on the special belt placed under the hoppers and supported by loading cells and then discharged directly onto the mixer's loading belt. The dosing of all raw materials is controlled by the control board where 100 formulas can be input and memorized. The aggregates weighed by the special weighing belt are then discharged into the mixer which starts to mix. Cement, previously weighed by another system, is added into the mixer separately. Once the dry mixing has been finished, the necessary quantity of water is added to attain a quite liquid mixture which can be easily distributed inside the molds. The mixing time can be adjusted according to the type of raw materials. Once ready, the mixture is transferred by a conveyor belt into the automatic batcher of the press in order to be poured into the moulds. Just before dosing the mixture into the moulds, an automatic special device sprays the required colour into the mould in order to create the shading of a natural colour. 
The batcher keeps the mixture homogeneous and pours it into the moulds by means of the adjustable dosing cups which attain the required thickness. The batcher is a hydraulic type and keeps maintaining constant and optimized the pressure between the upper and lower plate where the dosing cups are sliding inside. This system and the sliding plane which is realized in special materials drastically reduce material loss from the dosing cups and keep the batcher and the molds placed under it clean. Pouring and distribution of the mixture in the molds, in our case in 40 by 40 size, is helped by the special upper vibrator which guarantees the perfect distributing of the materials and the same thickness in every part of the tile. If necessary, the vibrator can be raised up by a pneumatic cylinder to allow such interventions as maintenance or cleaning. Once vibrated sufficiently, the mixture is pressed into the relevant station the pressing operation is carried out by a programmable pressing curve which is obtained by the hydraulic proportional valve which allows five different pressing levels in programmed periods. The pressing force can be 350 tons, corresponding to more than 200 kilos per square centimeter of product. Such high pressure is required to extract the exceeding water from the mixture and makes an excellent compactation of the tile. The exceeding water goes through the filter contained in the pressing plug and the vacuum, created by a special pump, extracts the water from the plug and conveys it to the collecting cylinders and then to the decantation pools. This Longinotti patented system allows, through the filtering pressing plug, to press engraved tiles of any type, such as nature stone. Special bases are used for these productions. It is therefore possible to press with this single layer machine all kind of tiles just by changing the special bases by an easy and special pneumatic system. Just after pressing, Nature Stone tile is extracted from the mould and collected by the special shovel. A fixed vacuum head rises up the tile from the shovel and turns it 90 degrees in order to allow to the mobile second vacuum head to take the tile from the first head, to turn it a further 90 degrees and to store it on the steel pallet with the good surface upwards. The taking off and turning operation is simple and quick guaranteed by the long experience of Longinotti company in the vacuum techniques. The turnover of the products avoids the formation of marks or efflorescence on the good surface of the tile and allows moreover to have a continuous visual checking of the product's quality. On the steel pallet it is possible to store always four pressing cycles. That means four tiles, 40 by 40, like in this case, or 16 tiles, 20 by 20 or eight tiles size 20 by 40. The steel pallets, full of fresh tiles, are automatically piled up in a stack of maximum 30 pieces. Once a stack is completed, it will be transferred onto the final position of the automatic line, where it will be removed by a forklifting truck and transferred to the curing area. The tiles on the steel pallets will remain in the curing area for the time necessary to get hard enough to allow the subsequent handling operations. Once the curing operation is completed, 24 hours curing in this case, the stack of trays is transferred back to the automatic line on the opposite part of taking off in order to allow the emptying of the pallets and the conveying of the cured tiles to the finishing or packing line. With a similar taking off head of the fresh tiles without turning over, the cured tiles size 20 by 40 produced the previous day are taken off from the steel pallets and deposited on the discharging path to be conveyed to the packing operation, while the empty steel pallets are proceeding through the cleaning station before they will be used again in the fresh tiles storing position.
The cured tiles are conveyed through the shot blasting machine, placed in line but not used in nature stone production, and will go through the selecting path and impregnating system before arriving to the vertical packing line. Tiles are impregnated on the surface by means of sprayers, which act automatically when tiles are passing on the way to the vertical packing line. The vertical packing line is composed by a motorized chain path and a mobile arm which turns tiles 90 degrees and stores them vertically on said path. In between tiles, two ropes are automatically introduced to avoid rubbing between the product surfaces. The whole system is set up in a way that the arriving of the tiles is well placed and is programmed to form rows of 30 tiles which makes a length of approximately 1 meter. Four rows of tiles can be stored on that chain path. Once strapped, the rows of tiles are taken off by a forklifting truck with pliers and will be transferred onto the wooden pallets and therefore in the product storing. Longinotti thank Ott Company for the collaboration in the production of this video and thank also everybody who has just seen this video.